Today we're never meant to understand us because we are the children of sound. Discovering ourselves in unoccupied spaces of time. We learn how to kiss, blindfold, and walking backwards, remembering the future because we've been here before. Block. Well, see, Writer's Block is basically a, a cultural arts movement um, that I started back in 2005, um, and the goal is to expose the general public to like a higher quality of entertainment through um, through arts, the finer arts, as you find like spoken word poetry. This poem goes out to every male that seems to enjoy the amenities down low, but has a problem when asked to return the favor. Hey, do not promise me your heart, mm. your last name, oh. monogamy. Oh. Do not promise me poetry. How long have you guys been uh, doing this? Well, the, um, I started Rise Block in 2005, and we... We basically since then like I learned I branded it a lot differently so now as you see like we have the collective and from that you know we have like a bunch of like different events around New York City which involve the general public with the movement so what you see now like the audience that you see in there they're not just audience members at this point they're actually part of the whole movement. At the count of three, I need y'all to give a warm Riders Black welcome to no other than Theophilus London. One. Uh, it just feels good, you know, to be around uh, people that's moving forward and the whole community here and everybody see the same faces all the time and everybody's always doing their thing and everybody's supporting each other and it's all love, y'all, and that's what it's about. So this time we had our man Theophilus London, like dope, dope, dope. He's more, he's more than an MC. He's really like, ah, uh, dude. He, he reminds me of James Brown in many ways, dude. Like just, like the way he just gets up on the stage and starts moving, and the people start moving. In. Are you tired of the angry black man? Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. <laughs> you can your lips, nigga. We at the First Amendment Incorporated believe in the freedom and alteration of speech and are proud to present to you the N1663R. This device is capable of translating the most disagreeable Negro male term of phrase into a more easy on the air, comfortable listening. Example. You're not really angry. I'm just indifferent. But yeah, more I think about it, I do hate white lilies. <laughs> I think I'm allergic to something. But more I think about it, yeah, they deserve to die, and I hope they chill in heaven. <laughs> Seen together, we used to be at a poetry slam, slamming against each other. We used to do the same features, and then that, after a while, basically, if someone had a feature, we would all go to that spot. <laughs> It, it looks cool as is now, but to me, I feel like 
as long as the people that don't know about Riders Block, as long as the people that are not being exposed to the arts, I think our job will never like really be done until like the changes being seen in the communities that we live in. Um, I feel like my job won't really be done, and my goal is just to like constantly create a platform for for artists and other individuals. <laughs> I've never wondered what cigarettes and pacifiers have in common. Have you ever wondered? She loved him. He was her knight in shining armor. We will not cry for you, Jesus. No one will offer you to your face. Um, we really are family. We're like siblings at this point, you know?